backdrop of an excellent relationship between our two countries, India has been a great supporter of Ghana's socioeconomic development over the years. For example, the seat of government, the Jubilee House, is undoubtedly the most iconic project constructed with the support of the India government. A much cherished project of my own ministry, the Foreign Service Institute, is also being undertaken with a facility from the Indian government. I must also underscore the fact that the Ghana India Kofi Annan Center for Excellence in ICT, the very location where we are gathered here today, is a product of the initial work of the late Kofi Annan. In his capacity as the Secretary General of the United Nations, Mr. Annan approached the Indian government for assistance to develop institutes for the advancement of ICT knowledge on the African continent. The Indian government responded positively, leading to the building and equipping of this center, which was commissioned in 2003, and the government and people of Ghana are forever grateful. The unveiling of this statue today signifies the strong bonds of friendship and cooperation between our two countries, which span over six decades. I cannot conclude my remarks without extending my heartfelt appreciation to the ministries of communications and national security, the National Security Council Secretariat, the Indian High Commission, the University of Ghana, Lagon, and this center for your diverse contributions towards building this new bridge in Ghana-India relations.